on issues that is facing women. Uh, women are naturally weak. The droughts has really affected them. Most of the time, they are the breadwinners of their family. Most of them are widows. Most of them are bringing up orphans. They are vulnerable. And if you go to the market, you see most of them are there with few, uh, few activities because of lack of fund. I request all the people who are concerned, the NGOs who are with us here, our county government has already played their part, and we want the empowerment of women in both business enterprises. They are ready to work, and they are very masterful. And if it comes to politics, they are always on the ground to do door-to-door -door campaign. We thank you so much. On the other side, I talk of youth. Youth and women are the most affected people uh, by this drought. Most of our youth are unemployed. Employment opportunities are very few. We are requesting our county government to employ more youth comprising of both male and female so that there will be gender balance in future. I may come back of droughts that's affecting us now. It has really affected us. Animals have died, and many people have resettled from the, where they used to live. Those people have now who have gone to mushroom settlements are suffering without shelter, without food, without water. We need uh, backups from the government and the non-government organizations to look at these people and provide, because water is life and it should be there. So now that you have came volunteered to help the people of Mandera County, you know, the old man has talked about shallow wells. Yes, during harsh time, the normally uh, the shallow wells uh, dry up. The only river we have in Mandera County is also seasonal. Considering all those problems, we would like to request more poles to be drilled so that our people used to live on livestock but let them divert their activities to farming so that they can be self-sufficient. <laughs> Finally, I'm a teacher and I should talk about guy child education. Guy child education is very important. We know that we have cultural norms. Our parents prefer educating boys than girls. I'm very happy that my grandmother educated me up to this level. And I'm very proud. We are, as, we are asking the donors to give us backups at the schools. Most of the, those parents who are now displaced, their children are out of school. We would like you to uh, promote schools with foods, with uh, drugs, with enough facilities to keep them in boarding schools so that they are taken care of. We also want girls, uh, we also want to promote girls in many ways by creating uh, conducive environments as they are in schools, in the sites of sanitation, in the sites of provision of sanitary towels, so that they will be very comfortable. Their learning will be conducive and they will be very comfortable. They will see themselves as part of this uh, part of this community. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the visitors who came all the way to help us go through this problem. Our governor, who is always so tired of helping his community, as you have advised us, we are going to help each other according to the way we are living. We have neighbors, there are people who are better than others, we are going to practice that. But marginalized people and those who are, good, who are disabled should be looked into. In this town, we have marginalized communities like Wata who are even dying. Some of them have been beaten by strokes, they used to dig wells, they used to dig toilets, now such opportunities are not there because there is a scarcity of money in the town. Cash transfers, if possible, to be given to those ones who deserve. We asked the, uh, our sub-county administrator to make sure that those ones who have been, uh, who have been selected are the right people. We 
are praying to God that so that her office will be uh, sincere and she will keep on. We, with our prayers, she will progress and we are hoping our governor will promote her. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Asante, madam.